there. You have that opening bell on Wall Street. And the opening bell is sponsored by our friends at FlexShares. You have the opening bell on Wall Street. What could be another busy day for the markets with earnings still coming in hot and heavy from Salesforce? Again, as we've been talking about, you have that S&P Global warning, which is putting pressure on its shares big time here in the early going. And of course, rival Moody's. Now, Brad, you did mention uh, HP, and HP last night was out with better than expected uh, earnings results. Also lifted its full year outlook uh, as well. And I caught up with uh, CEO Enrique Lores, and here's what he told me about the company's state of its business against this inflationary backdrop. We have increased the outlook for the year. We have increased the guidance that we have for the full year. I think consistency is probably the key message because we are in a fairly volatile environment. And even in this volatile environment, we were able to deliver the results that we had committed to. Just look at EPS, we were at the high end of our guide. So again, consistency is important these days, and this is what I would highlight. And that is the new, I would say, buzzword, Brad, by these late reporting companies like an HP. So you had Enrique talking about consistency. You had, you had Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff on his call last night talking about resilience. So you have these companies hoping to get rewarded for reporting results that by and large are okay. Uh, all these stocks have been under pressure here, but I think what you heard from the likes of an HP, Mark Benioff, and then even, I go back to last week, what Qualcomm CEO Cristiano Amon told me as well, that his business is performing well. They're making the case that in this volatile environment, consistent results quarter over quarter should be rewarded. To me, that makes sense. Well. They've also acknowledged some of the inflationary pressures, how that's hitting some of their customers. You look at a division like printing net revenue, that was down 7% year over year, while personal systems, that was about 9% higher year over year. $11.5 billion is where that came in from. But total units were actually down um, in some of their other departments. Consumer net revenue, that decreased 6%. Commercial net revenue, that increased 18%. But with those units down, it still comes back to how well they are actually navigating getting the product from the production stage all the way into some bodies, either office space or tabletop for those who are working from home or remotely still. And so with that in mind, the number of corporate purchases that they continue to see come through on the back of the demand that they're seeing come through, that continues to be, I think, in focus or at least should be in focus from the minds of investors as they continue to evaluate HP right now. It's fascinating to see some of these shifts, Brad. You mentioned the commercial side of the business. Uh, and I asked Enrique, and we'll have more on that interview uh, from that interview a bit later on, seeing this whole shift of people going back to the office and you have companies out here ordering new printers, new computers, desktop computers as well. But at the same time, look, we were just talking about Slack over inside yeah. Salesforce and their results continue to be very strong. There's just so many different parts uh, happening here in the economy. Ultimately, I think feeds that notion right now on Wall Street, it is a stock picker's market.